Woodbridge? You've probably never heard of it. It's a small town, but I'm going to give you a few reasons why you should think about moving there. Hi, I'm Stacey Olson with the Valentini team at William Ravis Real Estate. And on my channel, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about living on the Connecticut shoreline. So let's get started. Where is Woodbridge? How many people live there? What's it all about? I'm gonna give you the details. First off, Woodbridge is a suburban community. It's about five miles northwest of downtown New Haven and it has about 10,000 residents. It is full of rolling hills and it's very rural-like. Even though it's not far from things, you would think you're a lot further away when you're there. Many of the properties there have at least an acre and a half. So they're spread out pretty far from each other. So you're not gonna see house after house after house. It's gonna be more like you might see a house from the road, but there's a lot of trees. And like I said, it has a very rural feel. Woodbridge is known for having an excellent school system, an extensive network of walking trails, a big recreation program, and it really has small town charm. And quite honestly, even though it has a really rural feel, it's really close to many things. It's close to 95, 91, the Wilbur Cross Parkway slash Merritt Parkway, Route 8, and like I said, it's only five miles from downtown New Haven, which has so many cultural events, you know, medical facilities, entertainment, business services. So you feel like you're a world away, but you're only five miles. So it's like the best of both worlds. As you drive around Woodbridge, you're going to see a lot of trees and a lot of tracts of open land. They've been really great about preserving a lot for land trust there. And since most homes have at least an acre and a half, there's really a lot of space between you and your neighbor. So if you're looking for that, this could be the place for you. The median home price today in June of 2022 is $575,000, which is slightly higher than its neighboring towns. Speaking of which, it neighbors New Haven, Orange, and Ansonia. The reason why Woodbridge has been able to keep that small town charm is because it doesn't have a lot of commercial business there. They have some, but it's not going to be some thriving metropolis that you're going to be going into. Uh, most people that live in Woodbridge probably do most of their shopping either in New Haven or in Orange, where you can find pretty much everything else you need in either of those neighboring towns. So first I'm going to start by talking about their school system. Amity Regional Schools are very highly rated every year for Connecticut public schooling. The high school actually encompasses three towns, and I've spoken about it before when I did my video on Orange. So Amity has Woodbridge, Orange, and Bethany all in the same high school. So it's considered a regional high school, but it is excellent. And you can check it out on niche.com or greatschools.org to see how it has been rated versus all other schools in the state of Connecticut. One thing to note though, is that Woodbridge does have a primary school, which is pre-K through second grade. They have an intermediate school, which is three through sixth grade. But once they hit seventh grade, the students that live in Woodbridge actually go to Bethany Middle School, which is the neighboring town. And then after eighth grade, they come back to Woodbridge because that's where Amity High School is. And they'll be there from grades nine through 12. When you drive into the center of Woodbridge also, it really has that beautiful New England charm. There's some churches there. There's the town hall, the police station, the fire department, the library. And it's very picturesque, all these white, beautiful buildings. And you know, when you drive around, you do feel like it could be 100 years ago. That's how cute it is. Woodbridge is known for having great recreational opportunities. There's an indoor town pool. They have tennis courts, bocce courts. They have a pavilion. They have baseball diamonds and several extensive walking trails all within Woodbridge. 
Speaking of walking trails, one that I would recommend is called the Fitzgerald Tract. And this is a great spot, literally right in the center of town. There's multiple walking gravel paths that loop around. And when I stopped by to take this video, it was hopping. There's plenty of parking. There were all sorts of people there and it was raging all different ages from little kids to middle-aged people to older folks. And because the track there, like you can walk, it's relatively easy. It's labeled as an easy to moderate hike, but from what I could see, it seems pretty flat. So it looks like pretty much all abilities would be able to go there and enjoy their day walking. And you know what else is great about the Fitzgerald Tract? They have the Woodbridge Dog Park there. So you can bring your pup and just let them go wild. It's an acre and a half of a fenced in park-like area where they're allowed to just run and get out that energy. And it's great because it is right next to the walking path. So as long as your dog's on a leash, after you leave the dog park, you can actually go walk the paths. Lastly, the Alice Newton Memorial Park. This is a hundred acres of protected space and it's approximately four and a half miles of walking trails. And there's so many beautiful things to see. They have open meadows. They have access to the Weepawog Falls, which is just truly beautiful. And it's an easy to moderate hike. There's six major trails and several smaller minor trails. And you know, as you're walking, you're gonna, there's gonna be benches and bridges and boardwalks. And dogs are welcome here as long as they're on a leash. Here in Woodbridge, you definitely need to stop at the New England Brewing Company. This brewery has been around since 2001. I know, that's a long time. The craft brewing, this is like the beginning phases of the craft brewing era. And it has grown in leaps and bounds. And many folks love their fuzzy baby ducks, their sea hag, like, they have so many great flavors and their cans are really cool. Today, it's actually one of the most popular uh, breweries in Connecticut and people really follow them and you can definitely stop by, visit their tasting room and check it out. Um, pretty soon though, they're actually moving from Woodbridge to West Haven. I spoke about this on my West Haven video. They're actually buying a spot right along the water in West Haven. So. I'm not sure when that plan is happening, but probably within the next year or two, I would imagine they're gonna be moving there. So if you wanna to get to the Woodbridge location, you gotta go soon. Another great place to stop by is Sabino Vineyards. This is a small family owned and operated vineyard situated on eight acres right in Woodbridge. And they have a tasting room that's open on Saturdays and Sundays. And not only do they have like wine tastings and flights, but they have wines by the glass. They also have outdoor seating. They have you know charcuterie boards. So it's always nice to support your local businesses. And when I stopped by, it was so cute. I have it on my to-do list now. So as small as Woodbridge is, it actually has its own bowling lanes. It's called Amity Bowl. And it's just a great place to meet up with friends. You can have birthday parties there. They have league play on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And I mean, I have to say, I do enjoy going. I'm terrible, but it's always a lot of fun. So let's get to the good stuff, food. So uh, there's several restaurants right in Woodbridge. They're all kind of centrally located very close to each other um, in more like the commercial district of Woodbridge, which borders on New Haven. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is Woodbridge Social. So this is like a great American bar slash restaurant. And there's really something for everyone there. They have things like wings and pizza and tacos, burgers, but they also have fun things like chicken and waffles and lobster mac and cheese. But you know, it's just a great place to go. They have happy hours, fun drink specials. So you need to check it out. So there's two great delis in Woodbridge. First, I'm gonna talk about Blue Check Deli. This has been around for quite a while. And if you're looking for something like just quick stop in and grab and go, you can do that. Or if you wanna get something to savor, they have that as well. They're open for breakfast and lunch and they have vegan and vegetarian dishes. The other deli is Katz's Deli. 
and basically outside of New York City, no one can compare to their corned beef, pastrami, and matzo ball soup, let me just tell you. So they have all sorts of great foods there, sandwiches, and they have salads, wraps, you know, anything you would want, you definitely need to stop by because it's like authentic New York City deli. And then there's Solun Restaurant and Bar. This is a tapas restaurant with a beautiful outdoor patio and they serve Spanish food with a Mediterranean flair. So if you're someone that likes tapas, you definitely need to check it out. It's great for like a romantic night out, dinner with friends, or even like a private event. Plus they have a large bar with great happy hour specials and the food is great. And it's like, you know, the small plates. So you can share, you can order a ton and just split them among everybody at the table. And it's just a really cute environment if you're looking for that. So if you're worried Woodbridge might be a little too small for you, have you ever thought about Orange? Because Orange borders Woodbridge, but it's just a little bit closer to some of the amenities that you might be looking for. And if you check out my videos and you like them, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next week.